Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another preview and prediction video. Today I'll be previewing the Big 12 Championship. The Big 12 Championship is going to take place on Saturday at noon on, I'm guessing, uh, Fox. Uh, big noon kickoff in Arlington, Texas between the 12-0 TCU Horn Frogs and the 9-3 Kansas State Wildcats. This is a matchup we have not seen before in the Big 12 Championship, which, to be fair, the Big 12 Championship is fairly young. I think the first one was in 2017, but it's been a monopoly, no, monopoly I, I can't say that word, monopolized by Texas and Oklahoma since its inception, pretty much. Uh, in this game, TCU has, is favored by two and a half against Kansas State, so... Let's go ahead and break this down, see what, what we think. Well, let's start with the away team in this game, Kansas State. The Wildcats, like I said, are 9-3 in the year. They have notable losses against Tulane, a uh, 17-10 loss against them. TCU, a 38-28 loss to where we, they were ahead by a good bit, and TCU ended up coming back and winning the game. And then a 34-27 win over Texas. Now, their notable wins... They have a 41 to 34 win over Oklahoma, a 48 to nothing shutout win over Oklahoma State, and a 31 to 3 win over Baylor. So, they've had some good wins and some good some bad losses. Their key players, well, it's complicated. Adrian Martinez, who was a starting quarterback for the first few games, uh, has 1,261 yards, passing a 64.1 completion percentage, six touchdowns and only one interception, but he's only played in seven games. He also had 615 yards rushing with 10 touchdowns. He got injured after, during the game against TCU, and in came his backup quarterback, Will Howard. Will Howard looked really good. He, in uh, I'm uh, in five, yeah, in five games, he had 1,224 yards passing with a 62.4 completion percentage, 13 touchdowns, and two interceptions. He's looked pretty good, and he, we'll see if he can uh, lift his team up against uh, TCU. Now, he's not going to have to do everything. You have Deuce Vaughn in the backfield, who has 1,295 yards rushing on the year with seven touchdowns. People have compared him to Barry Sanders, so we'll see if he can live up to the hype. Their leading receiver is Malik Knowles, who has 679 yards receiving with two touchdowns. And Felix Aozama has seven and a half sacks, which leads the team. So that's Kansas State. Let's see how TCU stacks up. Well, they have no notable losses because, well, they have no losses. But they have a couple of notable wins, including a 38-28 win over Kansas State earlier in the season, a 43-40 win over Oklahoma State in double overtime, a 17-10 win over Texas, and a 29-28 win over Baylor. Now, TCU has had to win from has had to come from behind and win in a lot of their games. However, they have done that and won. So they are pretty battle tested. And that's no short uh a lot of credit has to go to that quarterback, veteran quarterback Max Duggan, who has on the year 3070 yards passing, a 66.6 completion percentage, 29 touchdowns to three interceptions. He has done good this year in the passing game. He's also not afraid to run the football. In the backfield, they have Kendra Miller, who has 1,260 yards rushing and 16 touchdowns. Quentin Johnston, who I believe is pretty underrated, 764 yards receiving and five touchdowns. He doesn't jump off the stats, stat sheet at you, but if you watch him play, he is something special. On defense, D. Winters leads the team with six and a half sacks, and Bud Clark leads the team with four interceptions. TCU is fighting for a playoff spot at this point. This is a rematch between the game and, uh, earlier in the season, so Kansas State is going to be coming to fight as well. This game I could see going either way. It's going to be a it's going to be a great game. I encourage all of you to watch it. This is going to be probably game of the week, unless 
uh, Purdue or LSU or Utah just pulls something out of the hat because we know nobody's going to be watching the Clemson-North Carolina game. Uh, So I went back and forth on this, but in the end, I did choose TCU to win the game and cover the two and a half. I just think that this is a big opportunity for Sonny Dykes and the Horn Frogs that they're just going to be playing lots out and trying to keep the spoiler away. I do think it's going to be a close game, but I think a field goal is going to be more than enough to win this game. So, there you go. I think TCU is going to win the Big 12 championship. And at this point, since I have already predicted USC to win the Pac-12, <clears throat> Ohio State and Alabama's chances of making the playoffs are out. So, sorry, not sorry. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and go dogs.